In the past few years, Intel and Apple has always been cooperating and working together in Apple's computers. For example, this iMac right here is running on Intel. So it supports Thunderbolt, or in my case, Thunderbolt 3. Intel has just announced their Thunderbolt 4 ports two days ago, and around two weeks ago, Apple has said that they will be switching away from Intel and using their own Apple Silicon, which is what they use in their phones or tablets. Now, if Apple isn't using Intel anymore, they shouldn't be able to use Thunderbolts. However, they have designed Thunderbolt 3 with Intel when it first came out. So they have struck up a deal and Apple will be able to use Thunderbolt 4, which is what Intel has just released. Thunderbolt 4, well, I'll just explain briefly, is basically just Thunderbolt 3 with um, a bit of improvements in the connection field, I believe, because it has the same bandwidth and everything as Thunderbolt 3, the same USB-C connector. However, it can support one 8K display with one port. And this is pretty cool. One 8K display or uh, with one port, you can also support up to two 4K displays which I believe was not possible before. But this isn't that big of a deal because everyone's expecting that. And since the bandwidth didn't actually increase, which is, it's still 40 gigabytes per second, just like the Thunderbolt 3. This shouldn't make headlines, but it is just because Apple is supporting it. And not only Apple actually, AMD has said that they might be able to support it as well. AMD and Intel has never been working together and they're rivals. So this is quite controversial. And to make things even stranger, USB 4 is based on Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 is still a thing. So these two are completely different things and require completely different cables, but they are using the same port and they're based on the same architecture. This just makes things so much more confusing because right now we are using uh, USB 3 and that's pretty fast. Um, so the, all of the uh, USB ports in, on my computer are USB 3 in the form of USB A, if that makes any sense. But Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 are based on, on the same architecture of Thunderbolt 3. USB 4 is universal since it's the universal serial bus, so anyone can be able to use that. But Thunderbolt 4 is not. Thunderbolt 4 is exclusive to Intel and now Apple for some reason. Maybe even AMD if what they're saying is true. So this just makes things so much more confusing and requires so much more to understand because before all you have to know is USB-C, Thunderbolt 3. Okay, I'm using USB-C, I'm using Thunderbolt 3. Now there's USB-C, Thunderbolt 3, Thunderbolt 4, USB 4 and everything else that uses the same port connector. USB-C is supposed to replace everything, not make things more confusing. But, I mean, I'm not really one to get into this because it is so much information that I do not understand. So if you are interested, then you can search on YouTube for videos explaining this. But this video will just be focusing on Apple and Intel. So remember, Apple is using Thunderbolt 4, not USB 4, although they look the same. One has the Thunderbolt symbol, but who cares? So I'm just going to explain what Thunderbolt 4 roughly is. Yeah, you know that it supports one 8K display or two 4K displays, and also it's 40 gigabits per second. But what I didn't say is that the minimum PC data requirements for Thunderbolt 4 is PCIe 32 gigabytes per second but also USB 3.2 with 10 gigabytes per second. It also requires your PC to be charging on at least one computer port. So it means that you have to at least be charging with the Thunderbolt 4 port as well, which you can do by the way. And it requires your PC to be awake from sleep when the computer is connected to a Thunderbolt dock. If your computer is in sleep mode, or the uh, or it's just timed out like in a bit, my computer would, it will not be able to have the speeds of Thunderbolt 4. Also, the minimum PC port power for accessories has to be 15 watts, the same as Thunderbolt 3, 
rather than 7.5 watts, which is for USB 4. And for a reliable connectivity, it is mandatory to have a certificate for all shipping computers, accessories, and cables if you use Thunderbolt 4, which is not the case for USB 4. And finally, it requires Intel VT-based DMA protection. So this is the only thing, the only port right now that requires this. If you don't have the TBD-based DMA protection, then you basically cannot use this port. So again, this would not be compatible with USB 4, although it would be compliant with it. Now, what I'm about to say here isn't proven, or you can't really prove it until it actually happens. So just trust me on this. Apple has always been the first to use Intel's newer ports, especially Thunderbolt. And since they just announced it, and Apple has said that they will be announcing newer MacBooks or even iMacs later this year, that still features the, the Intel chipsets. So you would be able to see these ports this year in Apple computers. And that's why I believe, because following by trends, this is what happens every time when Intel and Apple collaborates. And yes, they are still collaborating right now. I know Apple has said they'll be moving away, but that's in a few years, not now. They said the uh, transition time will be around two years, and they just said it like two weeks ago. So don't worry, your computers will still be using Intel. There shouldn't be any problems. But if you don't want your computers to use Intel and you want to use the Apple high-powered re redesigned uh, Apple Silicon, then you really have to wait for around a year and a half. I mean, you could be lucky and Apple might release one of their uh, Apple Silicon Macs in early 2021. So if you can really wait out and you want Apple Silicon computers, then yeah, definitely just wait. But if you don't, and you, you believe that Intel computers are uh, good enough for you, then yeah, I think you should wait until October or November for Apple to release their MacBooks that have Thunderbolt 4, which again, can support one 8K display with each port. I'm not sure how your GPU would support that, but if, they, if you can, then yeah, definitely. That will be perfect for like uh, video editors, photo editors, and everything. But 8K displays right now are really expensive. This is just a warning. So if you think you're gonna uh, like get four 8K displays, then please don't that's gonna cost like three times the price of your computer. And finally, just to recap everything I've said in this video, Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 are based on the same architecture of Thunderbolt 3. However, they are different. And sure, they do kind of work together, but they're only compliant and not compatible. Well, fully anyways. Apple's computers will be utilizing Thunderbolt 4, even Apple Silicon ones. However, the ones coming out later this year will be Intel-based, so of course they will be using Thunderbolt 4. AMD has also said they might be able to use this as well because they match the requirements. If that's the case, then heck, you might be seeing Thunderbolt 4 ports on AMD-based computers. That would be quite cool, although I'm not sure how Intel would feel about that. This is basically just the video itself. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comment section down below. Also, just thanks for 160 subscribers. I cannot believe how much uh, subscribers I've gained this month. I think I got like just two yesterday. So thank you. Also, be sure to like the video if you liked it. And if you really enjoyed it, then why not subscribe, right? If you have any friends that might be interested, please, please recommend this video to them. And uh, that's about it. There's some videos here if you uh, want to keep watching. And I'll see you next time.